Yo, what's good to Smooth Fam? I'm back with another banger in today. I have a highly requested video for you guys. I wasn't planning on making this video for a while, but there's a couple reasons I actually want to make it. Damn, noisy chair. Anyways, there's actually a couple reasons why I decided to make it now instead of waiting on it. And basically what the video is, how to get dreads with this sponge 2.0. You already know it's good. And before we get into the video, I just wanna like show you guys this cause apparently you guys don't believe me that all this stuff that I'm putting out is true, bruh. It is true, bruh. Come on, man. Look, this hair right now, I actually just got out of the shower, so I'll be taking you guys through how I deal with it after that and how I, how I take care of my hair. But yeah, bruh, this is my hair from just using a sponge using this sponge matter of fact I use this sponge to get this hair anyways let's get straight to the video y'all put it in a dark bitch stop in a hard bitch not a hard carpet and look on scar bitch you gonna bleed my gosh all right so the first thing that I want to go over is what my hair initially looked like so this is back in June 2020 I'm pretty sure June 2020 yes I had filmed a video um, how to get dreadlocks with extremely short hair, like with a sponge or whatever. I was looking at the comments and I was like, what, what, what do you guys think of this? Like, do you guys, how do you guys feel about it, right? A lot of people, you know, they loved it. They're like, I'm gonna try this, all this, all this. And then, you know, there was, there was some people who were like, this is fake, bruh. This is impossible. I knew I shouldn't have clicked on this video. Yo, this is why I'm making it 2.0, bruh, because this, is exactly what you guys have been asking for. Yeah, this is what my hair looked like back then. Um, and this is the tutorial, this was the overview of the, how to get them. So moving forward, right? Here's, here's some clips of um, later on, like other videos of my hair after some time. Okay, now as you guys can see, my hair like, it looks very short, stale. And you're like, that is not dreads. Those aren't what you posted or what you have in your uh, thumbnail. You know, I get it, it makes sense, it makes sense. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all a process. Like this is this is after about a year and a half, year and a half, two years? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm counting around. I'm pretty sure it's a year and a half. But this is what it, this is exactly what the picture in the thumbnail looked like. And so if you guys still don't believe me at this point, I don't know what to tell you, but it's real. Anyways, now that we went over that, I'm gonna go ahead and go through what I do to keep my hair like this and to get them locked up. Okay, so now that we're getting into uh, what I'm doing, let me go ahead and explain what I have here. So first off, basically, is the styling gel, sponge, of course, comb, and I will explain exactly what all these do and what I'm using them for. And I got these two things is uh moist the moisturizer and the oil all right so um first things first dry your hair so what i like to do is i i don't like my hair way too dry to the point where it's like absolutely just you know what i mean you want it to be a little bit moist but you don't want it too wet so let me dry that real quick all right so now that your hair is uh i'd say pretty like like damp right you know, you don't, you don't want it too wet, but it's like, when you feel it, you can feel it's a little bit wet, right? That, that's how you want it. You don't want anything to like drip down, and you don't want to be able to like squeeze one and feel water come up. First, let's start off with this. This is um, a moisturizer. It goes with this, this. So normally what I do is I start off with this. This is an actual moisturizer, right? So I'll put a little bit in my hair. Let's go ahead and do that. So now that you got that, I typically wait like a couple minutes, not too long, but uh, I'm gonna wait like five minutes, let that get moisturized into my hair, and then we'll go ahead and proceed to the next step. All right, so it's been about five minutes, you know, I've let it soak. So now it, it should be feel a little bit wet, not too crazy, and uh, yeah. So next step we wanna do is go ahead and take a comb. Now you might be wondering, why would you need a comb for dreads? So sometimes when you use the sponge, right? I can't really show you guys, it's hard to see it, but um, at, at the roots, they'll get these twirls, right? So it's kind of like, um, 
you know when you have curly hair and it like springs back like that it tends that tends to happen and it's kind of hard for your hair to lock up when that's happening because it's just twirling it's not really doing anything so what i like to do is i will take this just put it through and just lift up a little bit just a little bit i mean it helps get rid of those little um the little curls that we don't want the little swirls so i just try to get all over honestly i wouldn't say so earlier on i wouldn't say it's too important once your hair gets like longer and uh, you start to notice them that's when i just do it a little bit it's not really necessary but it does help it does all right so we pretty much got the whole head you know just get as much as you can it's not that big of a deal so i don't worry about it too much next step this is when we get into that step so what you want to do is let me go ahead and roll up my sleeves so you could do this multiple ways but i know it's like as your hair gets longer it becomes a little so when you first start off with the shorter hair you can basically just rub it in now you rub it in but you're just, it's easier to kind of split down the middle and then uh kind of like apply that way it makes it a little easier to like actually get it where you need it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it all through on my head, and then uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next step. All right, yes sir. So now I basically got like the gel spread throughout the roots of my hair. Um, most of you guys should understand this, but just to briefly explain, the reason why you don't want to like actually like, rub it into your hair is because the gel is not necessarily for the end of your locks. Obviously, they're for the roots, so the roots could start locking. You know what I mean? That's about that. That's what it's for. So, so with that, we can go ahead and get into our sponging. Sponging is really easy, you just, also, it's very important that you, um, actually, you know what, it doesn't matter too much, but, um, it's better if you, every time you sponge, you, it's probably better you keep it in the same direction. I'm not sure if it'll work going the other direction, but I, I would just keep it the same direction to make sure you're actually making progress. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sponge it up, and then, let you guys see what it looks like. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, when you sponge it up, it's gonna look crazy like this. Don't even worry about that. Just keep sponging. Also, um, since I have longer hair, it takes a little bit more time for the twirling to get to the roots of my hair. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this pretty fast. So, yeah. Okay, I finished the twirling. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now. My hair looks crazy right now. You're probably wondering, why don't you fix it? It's important that you don't touch it yet, okay? Now, the next step, what we're gonna do, so we have two more things left, and then that's that's it. That's all we do, man. So next, we're gonna dry it with the blow dryer, and then we're gonna go ahead and add the oil, and I'll explain the oil, uh, like why I like to add it at the end. But yeah, so I'm gonna dry it, and let me briefly explain why I don't want to touch it. When you move it, what's going to happen is at the roots, it's just going to twist back so that it's in a comfortable sitting position. But when it's like this, there is like at its tightest position. So you dry it and then you could go ahead and move it or whatever. And so, yeah, so I'm going to dry it real quick and then we'll get back. I'll explain the oil. All right. So I finished uh, drying my hair. I just want to show you guys. This is what it looks like after you blow dry your hair or it also you can use the little uh cap things that you put over you, you know what i'm talking about if, if you have got braids or hairstyle or even seen it but you, you, you'll know what i'm talking about so you just you use whatever you can to dry it um i use the hair to blow dryer you just want to make sure you get it as dry as possible um and yeah so this, this is what it's going to look like it's only natural for it to look like this so yeah don't even worry about it all right so now now 
that is dry, we can go ahead and fix it up. And what I like to do is just take my hands and just move it back and forth like that. Basically what it does is it kind of puts it back in its natural spot. There might still be a couple that just poke up for a minute and you might just have to like keep messing with it for a little bit, which it's not too much to deal with. But So initially uh, it's going to like look a little weird, a little pokey, but I mean that's going to happen because you just got done drying it. So like it's kind of stuck in the place that you dried it in. Yeah. All right, last step, man. Last step, and then we're we're done. And that's how you get the dreads with the sponge. Okay. So last, the oil. What I like about this oil is here. Let me get the right lighting. So I want you to look at my hair, right? And you see how it is. Uh, you don't really see a shine to it. It just it it looks like hair. So when I put this oil in, it's gonna do a couple of things. First of all, it's gonna make it look. A little bit more shiny and I'm saying it looks immaculate it looks beautiful after you do that right and second of all it's gonna help with keeping um the hair in place it's gonna help keeping the hair in place and, I mean there's not too much else to it there's just little stuff that it's cool but those those are really the reasons why I put oil in it so I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it real quick also keep a towel by you because oil is kind of hard to get off your hands and clothing so So yo, that is how you get dreads. Starting off with extremely short hair and with the sponge, man. For, the, for those of you that still don't believe me, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. The proof is in the putting it, putting the hard work. It takes time, trust the process. That's all you gotta do, trust the process. And you know, you'll get yourself some luxurious dreads, man. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it looks a little bit more shiny and it's just overall better after you put in stuff it's great so uh yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this stuff in the description just man just do what i do man so do this process about when you first start three times a week three four times a week every other day right and then as it starts to lock up like once or twice a week and then after that basically do it when you feel is necessary okay go based off your own judgment if, if you want you could do exactly how i did it and that's that's how i did it um, you could do it a little bit less, a little bit more. If, if it working for you, then it works for you, okay? That's that's really it, man. That's how you get dreads, the sponge 2.0, man. I had to update this because, like I said, some of y'all just didn't believe me. And not even just that, man. I wanted, I wanted to show you guys, like, what it actually looks like. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do. There's more coming out, man. There's so much more coming out. Stay tuned. We are on the road to 10,000. Let's get there, bro. Let's get there. Anyway, too smooth, fam. I'm out.